Hello friends. Today we're putting a luxurious periwinkle twist on a bee tumbler. Let's go. I'm using a 20 ounce skinny straight from Craft Haven for this design and this is a split cup so I'm going to just put a piece of blue painters tape down the middle. I'm not measuring or anything. I'm just guesstimating where half and half is and I'm going to paint our first half using Aurora Blue from Montana Colors. Once that's dry I applied my epoxy using the epoxy method so I used less than one milliliter of epoxy and I'm going to do a three color ombre on this side. So first I'm taking Chill Pill from PDB and I'm going to generously coat the bottom half of the cup and then start to build my fade up into the middle. And then next I'm taking Showgirl and I'm taking this through the middle of the cup, but also letting it go into chill pill a little bit to build that fade. These colors blend really well together, so I didn't have to go back and forth too much to get a really good ombre. The third color in this ombre is Exhale, also from PDB, and I just took this on the entire side. So this is a really easy, blendable color, and I just covered the whole side with it to build my fade, and this is what it looks like. I went with Chill Pill one more time, just over a little bit of Showgirl, just to build the blend a little bit more. And then that was it. I was done with this ombre, really easy to put together. I let it dry overnight, and then I sprayed it two times with clear spray paint to seal the glitters. And then I took two pieces of painter's tape to tape off our glitter so we don't get any paint on it. And for this side for the base, I'm actually going to just use regular acrylic paint. You could totally spray paint if you wanted to, but I didn't want to risk any spray paint over spray getting into my raw glitter side. So I just used regular acrylic paint from Hobby Lobby and a foam brush. And I did two coats of this white paint and I let it dry about 15 minutes in between each coat. Once that dried, we were ready to apply the glitter to this side. We're gonna use the epoxy method again. And for these colors, I'm going to use five different ones, all from PDB, Pearl, Anka, Coachella, Sea Glass, and Candelabra. So I'm gonna mix all of these together in one cup and then apply them all at once. So the first color I'm taking is Anka, and I'm putting about 10 milliliters in my cup. And then I'm taking Coachella, doing the same, maybe putting about 10 milliliters in. For sea glass, I didn't put a lot, just a little bit. Um, pearl, I put quite a bit in as well. And then candelabra, I put a good chunk in. So in total, this is about 30 milliliters of glitter. I really filled that cup up as much as I could. Stirred it all together and then applied my one milliliter of epoxy and just poured this glitter all over that one side. I let that sit about two hours and then I went in with two coats of fast set epoxy from CCDIY of about 30 milliliters each. Then I sanded my cup till it was totally smooth and did another thin coat of epoxy so that it would be shiny when we go to do our water slide. So what I'm gonna do next is tape off our bottom and I'm going to paint it the same color as we did the blue side with that Aurora Blue from Montana Colors. I taped it off using electrical tape and then I wrapped it in saran wrap so we didn't get any overspray, sprayed it with my blue, took up my saran wrap immediately, and then let it dry. And now we can put our decals on. For the blue ombre side of this cup, we're going to use a offset decal. It says Queen Bee. So our offset is white and then I use this really, really pretty periwinkle colored vinyl for the actual decal itself. So I'm applying the offset first and I'm just eyeballing this again. I probably should have measured to make sure it was exactly centered, but it looked good to me. So I just went for it. I'm applying the main decal now word by word. It's just easier for me to layer word by word, breaking it up into smaller pieces. I find that I do a lot better layering that way and it's not as nerve wracking to do it broken up into smaller pieces. So once that was on, we moved on to the other side, which is our water slide. 
Look at me, I'm such a rhymer. That was pretty good. Other side, water slide. Okay, I'm done now. <laughs> For our water slide side, oh, I did it again. I'm using this gold honeycomb pattern and then a just kind of collage of bee images that I put together really quick using Canva. And I'm gonna wrap the honeycomb part around the bottom half of the cup and then I'm going to use the water slide technique that I showed in one of my previous videos, layering water slide over white vinyl to make it pop more. I will have that video linked somewhere here. So if you haven't seen it, you can watch that and learn more about water slides and that technique specifically in more detail. So what I'm doing basically is applying the white vinyl first to my cup. I just did a cut version of the water slide I'm using and just made it completely solid. So it just cuts out in white vinyl and I'm placing that on my cup first. So I know where my honeycomb needs to go. I'm placing the honeycomb in my room temperature water. My water slides have already been sealed. I seal them right before I'm ready to use them. So I do two coats of clear spray paint from Rust-Oleum and then one coat of Plasti Dip and I wait about 20 to 25 minutes in between each coat. Once the final coat is dry, I'm ready to use my water slides. I don't spray them and then let them sit because I find that they crack when I do that and I don't like a crackly water slide. So I let my water slide sit in the water about two minutes. Once it starts to easily slide off the backing, I know it's ready and I'm just applying it to the bottom half of my cup, making sure it's centered. I get my cup wet before I apply the water slide to help me reposition it once it's on the cup. And then I use a wet paper towel to smooth it down, make sure there aren't any air bubbles or pockets or anything like that. And then I take a dry paper towel, press firmly down on the water slide, making sure that I don't slide it or move it around. But I wanna get any water out and make sure it's as dry as I can get it before I trim my edges. I'm just taking my craft knife, cutting off the edges that hang over into the next side, and then we'll cover those later with stripes. So don't worry if you cut straight or anything like that, it doesn't really matter. So I wasn't thinking when I put my collage B image into my water because I put it in without cutting it out. And if you do this, your water slide will not slide off the backing easily because when you seal it, those edges get sealed too. So you want to make sure when you're sealing your water slides that you leave enough room to cut the decal out even more after it's sealed. So I like to cut it out into a square, seal it, and then cut around the shape or the image as closely as possible. So once I fixed that, I just cut it after it had been soaking in the water and it was fine. I applied it to my white circle and I just tried to line up the edges as perfectly as I could. Usually there's a tiny bit of overlap, but since I use clear water slide, you can't really tell anyway. Um, it always ends up looking just fine. So I'm gonna do the exact same process. I'm gonna apply the water slide, use a wet paper towel to smooth out any air bubbles, and then pat it dry with my dry paper towel. I let my water slides fully dry for at least a few hours. I wanna make sure they're completely dry before I go in with epoxy. I went in with another coat of CCDIY Facet Epoxy to seal all those water slides and our decal in. Once that was cured, I was ready to finish up the bottom of our cup and add our white stripes to finish off our split. For my stripes on each side, I'm just using a regular Orcal 651 glossy white vinyl, and I cut my stripes at 11 inches long by 0.23 inches wide. So they're not as thin as I would normally do, but I needed to make them a little bit thicker to hide where my two glitters meet. So I cut them just a teensy bit wider than I normally would. To finish the bottom of our cup, I just cut out two circles that I'm gonna layer on top of each other. So I used the periwinkle vinyl that we used on our decal and then white vinyl as well. So the first circle I cut at, I believe 2.65 inches wide. I wanted to cover most of the bottom because we had those little bubbles when we painted and I wanted to make sure those were all covered up. 
So once I applied that, I popped any little bubbles with my craft knife and then I applied my white circle right in the center of our blue circle. I had a little bit of a nick there. I just tried to smooth it out with my knife. And then I added this cute little periwinkle bee on top of the white circle to give it a little bit of a fun finishing touch on the bottom. And then I signed my tumbler with a gold acrylic paint marker. I think this is a super fun detail. This is a piece of art. Your tumblers are art, so sign them just like an artist would. Once that was done, I put my final coats of epoxy on. I used CCDIY Medium Viscosity Artist Resin to finish this cup off. Once it was cured, we were done. This is our cup. I really like how this turned out. I like that this is still one of those classic bee tumblers that everybody loves, but it's a little bit elevated. It's a little bit more elegant. And these blue glitters are just so pretty. I really, really love them. Hopefully you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We make new videos every Tuesday and Saturday. Thank you so, so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.